I'm going to show you how to make a pericardiocentesis model. First thing would probably be as a prep step, take your little kind of resealable leftover container and your gallon Ziploc freezer bag. Place this in here. This will kind of be your receiver for your heart balloon, as it were. Leave that off to the side. Take a balloon. And stretch it out a little bit. And then open up just the neck of the balloon. This kind of limits your mess if the water actually splatters. Take your okay, red, red, blue color. Anywhere from five to ten drops in there, depending upon how dark you'd like your cardiac return. Filling the balloon in a standard, standard kitchen faucet. Probably about the size of a fist or a large orange or even, even small grapefruit. That'd be about right to try and approximate heart size. This is what's key. Twist off the balloon so you don't end up wearing the food coloring. And once you've got it twisted down, you can kind of disengage the neck of the balloon. And then with this still twisted, tie this guy off. Tie that off. That's what we you got for cardiac size. I'm going to dry it off to make sure that there's any residual red food coloring off the outside. And make sure you have into your balloon and take your whole setup and take your yellow food coloring. And again, anywhere from five to ten drops, depending upon how yellow you would like your for the purposes of the film, I'm going to make an extra yellow. And then just again, add water. You almost want to overfill the balloon so it gives you a little bit of extra spillage to get rid of the air bubbles that are going to collect in the bag. And then I typically put the bag mostly closed leaving just enough for it to escape. Okay, turn it and try and get as much of the air out of the baggie as possible. And then, reseal. Okay, just a little bit of air in there. So I'm going to need to do this a couple of times to get all the, all the air out. And then we should have the baggie, the heart in it, and then make sure that it's sealed. Turn the whole thing over to get the ziplock out of the way of where you'll be ultrasounding. And tuck this kind of down to get the corners out of the way. And it should come to about level. A pretty level there. And then, once that's full, whole apparatus over to the table, fill in the gaps as well as the corners with the ultrasound gel. This can take a lot of gel. Sandwich it in here, filling in the gaps and crevices again, trying to get the as much air out of there as you can, or at least fill in the air. And we'll take the press and seal, kind of a preferred. Hope to make that look smoother. And kind of filling in all the gaps here. Ultrasound gel will give you a nice 
medium to cover all those gaps. You can also, as an extra step, use a rubber band. Kind of sealing your edges. And that is at least the first part. We'll leave that off to the side. All right, now here's an alternative step. You can be, the model can be used this way, or for advanced realism, you can use some ribs. And I'll kind of show you both. For this iteration, I recommend double gloving, just so you can switch hands. But if you're going to use the ribs, I recommend putting a layer of gel underneath the ribs, and this is why the double gloves are important. So a layer of gel to again fill in any air. And then, for using your ribs, here's a small slab purchased at any butcher shop. Ribs are laying, of course, in this orientation, so kind of right where the where my fingers are. And for the purposes of the model, you know, kind of setting them up anatomically how you'd want the view to be, but you kind of nestle it right on that pillow of gel there, which fills in all the air underneath. Don't you kind of have those a little bit, a little bit oblique maybe to kind of recreate the anatomy a little bit. Then take off your dirty pair of gloves. And then another layer of gel on top. So now you haven't, you know, cross contaminated your bottle of gel. Kindness to others. And for this, prefer to be Ioban, but you can certainly use the, you know, press and seal or any type of shrink plastic wrap. So once you got your Ioban, this is already kind of stretched out. You get about the size you need. And then just kind of drape. And smooth out all your all your edges here. But once you get the edges stuck down, this is actually a little bit more sealed and reliable than press and seal. 